you shouting me out. I can never. I love you. I love that nigga for that. You feel me? Like, wow, I, I appreciate you, bro. I told him that to, directly, you know, because it, there was points where I felt like, um, yeah, I felt like, you know, he was showing love, but he, it was just fake, like, from the beginning, like, and now, like, over the years, it just really showed me that's just who he is, like, you feel me? I show real love. I'm a nigga that's not a hater. You feel me? If the shit is hot, I'm throwing that shit up there. The shit, I fuck with the shit. I'm going to talk about it. This nigga is the type of nigga uh, I talk behind closed doors and has personally told me that if you don't have the promotion, I can't work with you. And we, you, nigga, you fucking watch me. You look up and watch me and say, my nigga, <laughs> I want to rap like you, bro. Like, but now you hear talking about you don't got the promotion, nigga. Shout me out in your double XL article. Tell me that. Spin around and tell me that. <laughs> wow. Let me ask you this, though. Do you think that that same fake energy rubbed off on everyone else that was involved in Pro Era? I mean, birds of a feather, uh, birds of a feather flock together. That's what you said. Birds of a feather flock together. And, and for niggas that say that they not uh, really click it like that, then I guess the real niggas is not really associating itself with the bullshit. So if you uh, a nigga, because it's niggas a pro ever that give me my props. You feel me? It's, it's niggas that show love, you know? But I know within that circle, it's a lot of bad talk about me, so there will never be like a full embrace, you know? Because even with uh, Flatbush Zombies, and I got to get to them niggas soon. I got love for Meech. I got love for Eric Hawk Elliott. But let me get to niggas soon. Um, even with them, Beast Coast niggas, you know? Uh, Meech will hit me up. I'll speak to Meech. Yo, I need a verse, Meech. And you know I got you anytime. Anytime. Uh, but then it won't happen, you know? Shit start getting quiet. You feel me? It's like, well, you told me, you know? Shit is weird. So it's like... Let me ask you this though. Do you feel like this was like a, a light form of blackballing on Joey's part? Yeah. You could try it. Um, I feel like it's different ways to blackball. You know, uh you can be blackballed by association. Yeah. I feel like if a nigga wanna sit there and be on some shit like I don't really fuck with him, and you have artists that you work with. That are of, uh, you know, some type of stature. So if a nigga got a relationship, say like, okay, Drake. Drake. If Drake is beefing with Tory Lanez, that perfect example. Niggas that don't want to fuck up their relationship with Drake ain't going to fucking work with Tory Lanez. So that's a a form of blackballing, you know. But uh, I'm back, Shawnee. Of course. <laughs> of course. You know, I, I I really wanted you to highlight that because um I've seen that I you know kind of like choosing sides. Oh yeah. And mm-hmm. I, I'm not gonna put the names out there or anything mm-hmm. like that. Mm-hmm. You know, because you know what's done is done. But that was the reason why I asked you the last question. Like, do you feel like it was a, you know kind of like a a light form of blackballing because they chose to pick sides in order to. I guess, salvage their career or to not make sure, I mean, to make sure that their career is not in any kind of jeopardy. Mm -hmm. And so let me ask you this though. Mm -hmm. Do you think that their, their, their need to repair the friendship that you had with them was based off of what Joey didn't do for them? Or do you think, it was just out of genuine love. Um, well, the situation that you're talking about with the artist from Pearl Era that you are speaking about, um, that was just strictly based off genuine love because we all went to school together, you know, and me and that person had our own relationship, you know. So for us to leave high school and have this imaginary smoke and mirrors issue with the it's like it don't really make no sense well so for somebody to sit there and pick a side it don't really make no sense because she needs yeah. unity you know and my stance is just that i'm just a nigga that came from the past 
from where I seen the real deal of how the shit was before y'all niggas got in your head that y'all these fucking crazy superstars and, and started acting different. I'm from I'm that real person from that real place that's keeping it real with y'all. So for a, a only nigga, only way we gonna have a disagreement is if I'm experiencing fake shit. You know, so it's like that person to come back to me and just be like, "Bro, you know, it was just it just didn't make no sense." Like, I don't know why I shouldn't fuck with you. You know, like I see you as a good person. We know each other. Like, it's 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 fine. Like, I don't know why there's tension. You know, it's a bunch of male ego. Uh uh-uh. uh. But at the end of the day, I've never been against talking. It's just that when a motherfucker try to play me, like. I, I can't. I, I'm not supposed to be talked to. Or you can ignore me. It's just like, mm. it's, it's it's it's. I can't respond well to that. I'm always smile and be me, but it's like, fuck you, nigga. <laughs> it's over for you. Like, I can't sit there and respect you because like yeah. you be a fake nigga. Like that's it. Now, you 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 guys have you guys crossed paths? Yeah, nigga, we was on the Wu Tang set, nigga. <laughs> and let me tell you about that. Yes, we please. On the Wu Tang set, Wu Tang American Saga. It's funny how a nigga sit there and try to play the play you like he'll never fucking see you, nigga. You know I'm nice, nigga. You work with me, nigga. <laughs> you work with me. You watch my videos. You see me acting from back in the day and all that shit. So to see me on the fucking Wu Tang set. And look at me and put your head down and keep walking. That says that says a lot for me. Somebody asked uh Slow Swing, yo Dom, do you still have those two songs you said with Steez that were unreleased? Um no. I it, I feel like any Steez songs I, I have for sure are um <laughs> are, are released now. Um I don't okay. think I have any old Steez vocals. Mm-mm. I'm gonna let I'm gonna let everybody that's tuning in ask questions after this is over. So save your questions because I I don't want to lose any train of thought that's what's going on in this conversation. So, all right, man. So so you and Steve, so you and Joey y'all y'all on the same set. <laughs> Wu Tang. <laughs> Oh, but who was the one that said? He says, I'm not sure who he's talking about. There's a lot of speculation. Okay. All right. So the answer, so the answer just came in. What? Right. With regarding to the song with with Steez and Smith, his answer is this. He's not sure who he's who he was referring to. He said some people said Steve, uh, some people said Joey, and some people said you. That's his take on it. <laughs> he wasn't he wasn't sure, uh, but he might be he might be play, you know trying to play it safe. <sighs> but if he really knew if he really knew Steve's, right? Mm-hmm. This is what I'm gathering from everything, and my and not just my relationship with you, but just the interactions I've seen with other people that's been around forever. Mm-hmm. Nobody knew Steve's. They knew that Steve's was not talking about you. Mm-hmm. And I've met quite a few people from that camp, and different times they came to my studio, and they've all told me the same thing. He was mm-hmm. not talking about dimes. That was for Steve's. Mm-hmm. That was for Joey. I mean, that was for Joey. My, my fault. Yeah, Joey. Whew. My bad, Steve's. Hold on. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. So, uh, so you you on set with Joey? With the, what's the Wu Tang Hulu series, right? Uh, now. Wu Tang Wu. But yeah, right. Next, so. <laughs> So, so you're on set, and just walk me through that whole thing, because I know there was another artist there that you was talking to, Dave East, right? Dave East was there. Dave East okay. was there. All right. So, walk me through that whole that whole thing. <clears throat> okay. So, 
first of all, shout out to the uh, Wu Tang. Shout out to RZA for picking me for that part, man. RZA, I uh, auditioned for a RZA movie one time. Um, I ain't make it. So the fact that um, <laughs> that I got this part was fire. Um, so Wu Tang American Saga. Um, I get on set. I get casted. I go to the thing. I start getting dressed for the film. They got like this uh, space in Staten Island where they were dressing all the uh, the actors and stuff. So when I get there, I can see all the actors. I can see everybody pictures on the wall and what they're about to wear and shit. It was like a whole wardrobe room. So I see Joey. So from there, I know that that nigga's about to be in the shit. Okay. <laughs> so Very from that cool. moment, you know he was casted. Yeah, he was cast. All right, boom. All right, that's fine. Um. But I was thinking to myself, it's funny how niggas will try to sit there and try to fake blackball you or fake, like, ignore you or not act like you don't exist. But then you got to, you just, you got to cross the same path. Nigga, I'm talented too, bro. You work with me for a reason. <laughs> like, I don't know why you're fronting, like, you're never going to see me again. So, um, you know, I get to the set. You know, it's my day to shoot. It's cool. You know, everybody on the set is cool. Dave East, man, cool. You know, Dave East is cool with my nephew, so um, they got, like, a close relationship. So from there, you know, me and Dave East got to talk. Cool guy. Um, so Joey pulls up on set, hops out of Sprinter, right? I'm in a conversation, right? I feel like at this point, this should have been, you know, our, our, our way to just look at each other and say, yo, even if it wasn't right then and there, look at me and say, yo, we got to talk. You know, yeah. if there's talk to be had, if we got an issue, let's talk because we here. We got to be here. We're going to be here for days. It's a movie set. It's, you feel me? Like, we got to act together. Like, I'm no, I'm in, and, and I'm in no, yeah, mousy. <laughs> I'm in no, uh, you know, I'm in no position to sit there and be fighting, uh, like having a problem on set, and it's my first film, bro. Like, you know, I, I'm keeping professional, my nigga. So it was like, whatever. So he hops out of Sprinter. I'm having a conversation. I look over to him. I'm looking at him to give me that confirmation. Like, we got to talk. Yeah. Him. Yeah. So I'm looking at him in his eye. Like, what's good, my nigga? Like, He's walking on to uh, go up because, like, we're, we're in the projects. We're in Park Hill projects. He has to go to the roof because his scene is on the roof. He's walking out his sprinter. I'm on the ground floor. I look up. I'm looking at his face. He looks at me and just puts his head down and keeps walking. I'm looking at him still, like, so he ain't say shit. Damn. He nothing. He ain't say nothing. So I'm just like, bro. And then I see him again. We about to go to lunch on the set. I feel like the set just feels like be cool. Like, so people on the set, they know our history, Frank Sinatra, y'all went to school together, blah, blah, blah. So they're like, oh, yeah, Joey's here. I'm saying, so, okay. Oh, yeah, I thought y'all. All right, we about to go to lunch right now. Um, Yo, you want to get in the car with Joey? Come on. You feel me? They try to pair us up. Still. You feel me? Um, So we about to go to lunch. Dave East and Joey sitting uh, in front of uh, their Sprinter before we take off. Smoking. They got the assistants on set. Yo, yo. Joe, you trying to get in the, uh, in the, in the car with Dom's? We about to go get lunch. Nah, I'm good. Nah, I'm good. Uh -huh. You know, for that whole time. I'm on set. I'm now, who asked Joe that question? Oh, uh, do he want to get in the car? Uh, somebody on set, like one of the assistants. Okay. Now I, I was wanted. I wanted to know if it was if it was Dave East because he was there too. Yeah, I feel like he was one. He, Joe just wanted to ride with Dave East because um, Dave East had his own sprinter, but we was about to get okay. a whole other sprinter. Yeah, oh, so. okay. Okay. Gotcha. He was sitting there. He was sitting there with. He was sitting there smoking with Dave East right on set, trying to look cool and shit. Like, hey, go get lunch, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Man, white people here, bro. Like, fuck out of here, you smoking like. But whatever, uh, <laughs> you know, so yeah, you know, from there, like, yeah, he didn't say nothing to me for the whole set, you know, like, and there was times like, anytime we were like close to each other, I mean, that was the only time we were very close to each other. And I, and I tried to initiate that conversation, but when I didn't get that energy, I was just like, fuck this fake ass nigga. Cause if it was really a problem, he would brought it to me. And if it's a conversation that needed to be had, we would have had the conversation, you know, and you just on, on online talking about Steve's diss me when he passed, and, 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 and like, 
it's just fake shit, nigga. I don't even got no fucking words for a fake nigga. It's like, yeah, yeah, damn, man. So he had the opportunity right then and there to like, yo, let's let's put this behind Cross me. everything or bring it Where to me, sh- nigga. You could have, you could have brought it to me, bro. You could have been like, yo, nigga, so I don't like this. I, I don't. We could have talked. We could have did whatever. We could have fought. And I'm, I'm glad you said this, bro. I'm right there. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad you're saying this because, you know, I don't want people to feel like, to, uh, for anyone who has this preconceived notion that you're bitter about anything, that's all been dispelled right now in this conversation. Shout out to Ghetto Olympics. <laughs> oh, my nigga, we blessed, bro. How, yeah. yeah. Yes, Joey Badass. Like, I'm blessed, bro. I can never, like... Because at the end of the day, I don't need to work with niggas. My my heart was in the right place, my nigga. I just wanted to help niggas. That's all I ever mm-hmm. wanted to do, to give niggas fuck. Because y'all, y'all looked up to me coming up in high school. Like, I got love for a nigga that sit there and was inspired by me. That inspires me. That inspired y'all. Let me be a part of that and help y'all. But uh, for a nigga to be looking at me like, well, I don't want him to get in front of me. I don't really want him to get... That's the energy I always got from Joey. That's the energy I always got from him. I fuck with you, but I don't want to see. And that's that. That's that's a common thing. You feel me? I feel like that's some black shit. That's some human shit. You feel me? Like for a yeah. nigga to be like, I I fuck with you, but I don't want to see you do better than me. I don't want to see you get this look. I, d-. you know? Yeah. Damn. Let me ask you this. Yes, Did sir. Did you ever? Did you ever? Right, so, peace. Um. Now the time that you and Steve's wasn't talking after that that battle happened right Mm -hmm. do you think that did uh man because you know you know how people are bro when when they fight there's a lot of things that's being said behind another person's back oh yeah you know what i'm saying so my uh, we're gonna all right we got 17 seconds left i'm gonna log off and log back on all right Cause I got I got some more questions I have to ask. <laughs> all right, but <man. laughs> you know, and, and it's for everybody tuning in. I'm logging right back on. All right, save this, save this, bro. I'm definitely gonna save this. <laughs> we bike. <laughs> yo, yo, I we hate bike. spell check. Dude. Yo, spell check be had me look crazy sometimes, bro. Nah, nigga, we <laughs> bike, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> What up, though? All right, so <clears throat> before we uh got you know before we had to log off, mm-hmm. my court. Let me let me let the people come back in first. I mean, yeah, so and they can know what we talk about because niggas coming in here like, who the fuck is y'all niggas talking about? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I want I want them to know uh what's going on. Peace, everybody. Andrew, what's going on? Say, boss. Peace. Thanks for joining. Boy, Boiling sponsor a nigga, stop playing with me. Black cherry. <laughs> black cherry, nigga. My lips black cherry. Give me a deal. Yo, I haven't had that in mad long. This is the best drink. That was my favorite. That was my favorite. The black cherry, the best one. The best Better one. than the root beer. Better than the the the, the, the cream soda one. Come on, bro. Come on. Oh, you. You, <laughs> you want to like that? Come on, son. You <laughs> need to give me a deal. Like, let me tag motherfuckers. <laughs> I'm going to send this live to boiling. Hold up. <laughs> Yo, hold up. Hold up. I'm sending this to the right now. I'm not joking. Boiling. Black cherry. Back to business. Black Jerry. Mm-hmm. All uh, right, so for everybody that's tuning in right now, uh, we're, we're talking about uh, Dama Dozen's whole uh, relationship with, well, just Joe, just just Dama Dozen's career path and how, and what his connection was with Pro Era, the the whole the breakup his association with them. There's so many things that we're touching on just to give everybody clarity as to where he stood and where he still stands with Joey and the whole pro era movement. So we already uh, just finished discussing how 
Dom and Joey cross paths on the Wu-Tang Voodoo series. Dom was hoping for a conversation to resolve whatever issue it is that Joey has with Dom. And Joey wasn't looking for that. He just kept, he wants to perpetuate this negative energy that that's been going on. And um, he still chooses to take subliminal shots and public shots um, on social media. Hey, Ebony. And uh, a lot of, yo, I'll put it to you like this. For those of y'all who don't know, and, and for those of you who think that Dom has been quiet for very for too long, I'm just gonna encourage y'all to buy the go to album. <laughs> now, I'm telling y'all this not just because it's my friend, but I had the privilege of having Dom come to 1166 Studios to record the project. And it is, let me tell you. Any kind of questions y'all have, go buy the go-to album. <laughs> if y'all feel like he's just been too passive, you know, he's just been, you know, busy trying to take the high road, which he has, but, and there's nothing wrong with that. But when, you know, people keep trying to play you, play with your career, after a while, you're going to have to fight back. So this is why I'm saying, yo, listen, get that go-to album. When does it drop? With this coronavirus, I don't want to be putting out dates and then they put niggas on lockdown when I'm trying to do it. Right. <laughs> all right. All right. So I'm going to just say this. I'm going to say stay tuned for the go-to album. It's, it's, it's beautiful art. I'm, I'm telling you, you're not going to be disappointed. This... Uh -oh. This album is probably out of all of them. I, yo, let me tell you, man. I think this is his most versatile album. And it's just the right amount of songs. So stay tuned for the go-to album. Trust me. Ghetto Olympics is classic. Classic. That's a whole classic brand. But this go-to... Ghetto Olympics 2. Fine. All right, so, so, this, so we got past the whole movie set. Y'all cross paths. Joey doesn't want to yeah, talk he, to you. He ain't say nothing. He ain't do nothing. It was just fast. Now, did he, now, did he, did he hit your DM after, afterwards? No. Did y'all cross paths again afterwards or any no. kind of way? Did he take any kind of subliminal shots after that? No. Or anybody from his camp? Oh. Uh, I ain't seen it. I don't pay attention to niggas. Like, I don't care. Like, you know, I don't. But if you got a problem, because like I said, that, it was never my intention to sit there and be on the rah-rah beef shit with niggas from Brooklyn, from my same black men, from my same hood, from my same school. We here, like, we in hip-hop, you niggas, know, like, if we gonna go at it, we can go at it, but I ain't gonna sit there and act like I don't like you, I got beef with you, especially when I see you and it's no problem. So I just wanted to clear it up, you know, just like my nigga. Yo, this cat is crazy. But, um, <laughs> yeah, that's all, that's all. Um, I haven't spoken to him since then, like, I seen him, no DMs, nothing, no, no, no talk. Like, I, I feel like he plays this game where he just, like, just tries to, you know, ignore me. You know, and like, and I don't even, I don't got to be even trying to talk to him. It's just like tunnel vision or some shit. Like this nigga don't exist. I don't care. Uh -uh. But then you see me on, like, that's, I felt like that because even on set, you don't even want to look at me, nigga. I'm no, here, no. bro. I'm here. I'm not going nowhere. You can't even stand and look in my face. Now you got to think in your head that I'm gone. Like you got to fuck ignore me. You got to fuck it. Like, nigga, I'm here. And that's like a perfect representation of my whole fucking career from then till fucking infinity, nigga. I'm going to be here, nigga. You can't do shit about me because you can't fuck with me, period, nigga. You looked up to me from fucking high school. And it ain't, not, ain't nothing a fake nigga can do with a real nigga, bro. The, the, a real nigga path 
It's different. A real nigga path ain't going to be the, the fastest. It's not going to be the one that's going, uh, you know. It's a marathon. This ain't no overnight success, nigga. But I ain't never going to stop. And ain't nobody going to stop me. That's it. So uh, for a motherfucker to sit there and act like he can do that by sitting there and try to ignore me or sit there and try to play me, fuck out of here, nigga. You're, you're done, bro. Get the fuck off these fucking tracks with RZA singing, nigga. Why you singing on the RZA track? <laughs> Fuck out of here. Fuck out of here, bro. Alright, so I know Westside Gun verse was whack, bro. I haven't fucking heard a good Joy Badass verse in a long time. Let's keep it a fucking fan, nigga. Don't talk shit about me and act like a nigga that's gone that had a problem with me when it was about you. When you can't even carry his legacy, nigga. You talking about fucking pro era. You talking about, oh yeah, this is for Steve. You got a whole fucking Steve's chain. His family don't his family don't fuck with you. His family don't fuck with you. You got a Steve's chain on. Mm. You all this hip hop shit. You fucking flopping on verses with West Side Gun. Tyler the Creator gay ass killing you in songs, nigga. You see it, you talking shit about me, and then you fucking Let me chill. <laughs> Get Olympics too, coming. <laughs> oh man, um, uh, you know, I, but I wanted to also know because um, I know Peter Rosenberg was playing black man mm -hmm. on Hot ninety seven, but he's also a big pro era fan, right? My question to you is, do you think? Do you feel like Joey was in his ear? Who's ear? Rosenberg's ear. About you. Um. No. The reason why I'm asking this, the reason why I'm asking this question, is because he goes out of his way to, you know. Give pro era their flowers and, 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 you know, their respect and everything, right? Whenever he sees them. But he hears, he hears the, 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 he hears the rumors about Joe, right? Yeah. There's no way, there's no way that you, you didn't hear the same thing that we heard. Mm -hmm. My question to you is this Has it ever crossed your mind that maybe he's only, that he that he may have he may support Joey because Joey has the machine behind him or he just doesn't want to get in between that energy that you guys have because I don't feel like there's well I, I, let me not lie there's an energy but I'm not I don't support it like that. I'm not, I don't care. Like, like Rosenberg posted black man, you know, and it was no problem. I just sent it to him. He was like, yo, let's go. It, he ain't never mentioned to me anything about, you know, pro problems with those guys or nothing. It's just like, it's our relationship is our relationship. I don't respect a nigga that's going to have a problem with me because of a nigga. Like, yeah. But you know, the reason why I asked that question is because Rosenberg has been documented trying to repair relationships between, let's say, ASAP Rocky's movement and Tyler the Creator, um, and just other other rap beefs that you know he's had relationships with both sides. He's gone out of his way to try to mend those, you know, or repair those relationships. And I haven't, and I could be wrong, but. I haven't seen it on his end with you and Pro Era, but he promotes both of y'all. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because in his eyes, it don't mean nothing. Like, it's nothing. I don't have a problem with the niggas. They went to my school, you know, it's like, it's whatever, you know. I, and th this is hip hop. I don't think none of them could ever fuck with me in their lives, ever. That's it. But that don't mean that. <laughs> I don't like niggas. I don't want to see them succeed and feed their families and make good music. My whole fucking thing for coming with to to them 
was to just be on some assistant shit. Like, I assist y'all, nigga. I write a fucking hook. Niggas, niggas need better songs. Niggas need better writing. Nigga, I done wrote with the best. Why not? Yeah. Yeah. Why? Now, on this go-to project, right? Are we are, are we going to hear any Steve's verse? No, nah, not uh, it, it soon. Like from uh, a project. What you mean? So you have the go-to project, right? Mm -hmm. Now I wanted to know if there's going to be any Steve's verse on this project or any project going forward. That um, I'm not too sure. I don't know uh, the one thing I know about you is that you're very calculated. Like you, like you take this art, you take hip hop very seriously. So, and then just based on my conversation with you, it's like you're. Whenever you talk about a project, it's like you explain an entire blueprint regarding your plan. I'd be like, yo, this dude really sat down and planned all of this, the timing and everything. I'm like, yo, I need to step my game up. But <laughs> hold on. That's the reason why I asked you that question. Yo, it actually also told me, telling you to read a quote that he said from the uh, the, the song, the uh, the Joey song. I mean, uh, the this last girl song. But um, yeah, you know, I gotta stay calculated, man. This is a it's a new time, it's a new era. Yeah, um, gotta keep people on their toes. Gotta you know uh, find different ways to promote, find different ways to get yourself out there, especially because of this quarantine shit. So for go to, I'm definitely on go. I'm active. I'm I'm on my shit any way I can, you know, to get this shit out, to you know, let people know the truth. I'm speaking in the music. I don't even really be on my Twitter, Instagram shit. It'd be more like, hey, let me speak to this in the music, cause I ain't no fucking IG, internet, taking shots at niggas on Twitter ass nigga, bro. Like I make real songs, and I see somebody. Earlier, it was like, uh, <laughs> to be fair, you can take a shots at these niggas. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, I've been doing it. I've been doing my job. You yeah. know, I'm not no nigga that's out here just being a hip hop nigga and motherfuckers trying to challenge me or discredit me or disrespect me and, and hip hop and me not using my art to respond. Like, fucking uh, Aaron Rose tried to fucking diss me after the whole fucking, uh, Capital Steve controversy, and I fucking got a fucking full. Oh, the light skin dude with the locks. <laughs> yeah, huh? The light skin dude with the locks. I don't think he got locks. His hairline is just back here. <laughs> like, she like my shit is a little not twisted, but let me show you where his hairline is at. <laughs> 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 nah, but niggas like that. I he got sun roof on that, bro. <laughs> what? <laughs> so he got a sunroof in his afro? <laughs> Damn, man. Nah, but he's, um, yeah. I take it to the records, bro. If it's a talk that needs to be had and we got respect for each other, we can have that talk that's going to be had. But if we doing this hip-hop shit, I look up to Jada, Jay-Z, DMX, these niggas were sparring. They were sparring, bro, and and, and everybody had their favorites. That's what I want shit to be. I want shit to be like now, like for a nigga. Yeah. If we sparring, if we sparring, if this is a sparring war because for years it's just been me against them. And if it's a sparring war, I'm ready, nigga. I've been. You know what's crazy? Cause I, you know what's crazy? Because I've been around Flatbush Zombies. I've been around. I haven't been around Joey, but I've been around a lot of the pro era dudes, um, except for Steez and Joey. But being a, like, I'm, and I'm not, I'm not trying to be this tough guy or anything, but listen, I've been around and I know when somebody's really on that type of time mm -hmm. or they're only tough because they're on the internet and they feel like they can't be touched. Yeah. Flatbush Zombies is not really on that type of time. Mm. They're not. They're good dudes. You know what I'm saying? I feel like yeah, I they're, they're definitely good dudes. They're great guys, yeah. man. They're great yeah. guys. So let me get to this. Let me get to this. Juice from the Flatbush Zombies, right? Yeah. While this whole shit was going on, right? Yeah. I got love for Meech. Meech, I got love for Meech. Like, 
we've had good talks. Like he's always been down to just like jump into anything that I was do- doing. Like, oh, uh, you got a record? He jumped in the New Brooklyn remix. Yo, I'm ready. I respect him. Um, Eric uh, Elliott. You know, uh, I don't know him that well, but we've had dope conversations. Um, even but even Juice Juice showed love at a Dug Down concert. In the interview, he was like, yo, you know, a lot of niggas from New York coming out. I fuck with Dama Dozen. Uh, show me love, you know? And, and Flatbush Zombies has also said, I'm a part of the Beast Coast in some of the interviews. They had an interview with Peter Rosenberg, right? So, when the Steve's article comes out about the, his sister not fucking with how the way Pro is treating the family and how they want to boycott the whole Steve's day, you know? Me not having no ties, no pro ever niggas, and no story. I repost it because I'm cool with the family. I repost it. Don't say nothing. Just repost it. So this nigga Juice from Flabazon gets online. Yo, you just trying to promote yourself? Fuck out of here, bro. Um. You ain't been lit since 2012. Um, you not in my tax bracket, so it don't really make no sense to dish you on the record. So, but you just trying to use Steez to fucking promote, uh, a Steez verse to promote your career, blah, 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 but it didn't work. On some wild shit, like, nigga. And then he went in my DMs and, and, and started saying a whole bunch of shit that I never responded to. Because I, I did respond to it, but it's not in this fucking Twitter world. Because when we had we did the fucking New Brooklyn remix, you didn't show up, nigga. Only every uh, Elliot and Meat showed up. I mm. asked for the Flatbush Zombies. I ain't getting no juice. So, obviously, you don't want to fucking rap with me. So, don't get on fucking Twitter talking about it don't make no sense to diss them because we ain't in the same ta- tax bracket. Nigga, you whack. You the wackest nigga in the whole Beast Coast, nigga. So, I'm going to address you. I'm going to address you. I'm going to address you. I hope you see this. And if you don't, you're going to feel it when the shit drop. Because niggas is talking a lot of shit, bro. I don't do the fucking internet shit, bro. Especially if you're a fucking MC, my nigga. Bring it to the fucking mic, nigga. You an MC? You know, I don't... don't, And, you know, it's to your point. That would be his his worst nightmare. It's, it's, It's... It is his worst nightmare. Yeah. And niggas is not gonna like me. Talking about I got dirt on you, doggy. What dirt you got on me, little nigga? Y'all niggas were getting chased around Flatbush. Y'all said it yourself. <laughs> Fuck out of here. I don't want to bring that up. Huh? I don't want to bring that up. Yeah, come on, man. Ooh. Ooh. Wow, I got, I, I got I got respect for niggas that got respect for me, bro. But if you want to see an act, no one will say that. I got the beat. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. Wow, man. wow. Nobody gonna, get, nobody gonna get out of real because these niggas is fake niggas. That's mm. it. Nobody gonna have a conversation with me because they can't speak to me. I'm gonna just bring up facts. Like, what up? Nigga. They can't say nothing. You know, That's why niggas get quiet when I talk, bro. And yeah. I say, oh, dude, this is why we don't fuck with dimes because every time we try to let this shit settle, he always got something to say because y'all trying to let it settle on a note where I look fucking crazy. Like, I'm getting this by Steez. Well, y'all don't want to work with me or I'm bitter. Like, nigga, I ain't never gave a fuck about working with y'all niggas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They came to you. Y'all my little niggas. How can I sit there and be on some shit hating on y'all? So when I feel that hate, I gotta be like my nigga. Like, but don't I show y'all love? Like, what the fuck y'all doing? Like, whatever. I'm just, I'm just confused as to how he jumped out the window with that comment, and he's not even part of Pro Era. He's a part of the Beast Coast. So I mean, I guess he he. So um, just of, I mean, because Meech didn't jump out the window and say that. Yeah, because Eric didn't, and Eric didn't either. Because they don't care. Like they, first of all, they gonna stay out of it because Meech 
he cool. Like he, he, he I ain't never seen Meeks diss me or anything. But at the end of the day, if niggas want to get on the record and they want to team up and do the shit, we can all do it. I've been fucking fighting twenty niggas my whole fucking career. <laughs> Like, and I don't mind. I'm fucking Stone Cold Steve Austin, this bitch. Nigga, I was running the ring. <laughs> done it all y'all niggas. Like, dead ass, because y'all can't fuck with me, bro. Like, I... It got to get to this point where I got to fucking tell y'all to y'all face. Y'all cannot fuck with me. And then when I got to prove it... When I got to prove it, that, that that's what I'm waiting for. It's proven. So when motherfuckers... When, when it's time to drop, it's over, bro. And, and if y'all want to reply, I got... I, Whew. I ain't hear response to fucking real swank yet. I heard a fucking whack ass Aaron Rose shot on and on, 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 on his last album with fucking auto tune driving his vocals. I ain't hear shit yet, bro. I ain't hear no type of nothing that make me respect y'all as MCs, and I ain't heard nothing from y'all personally that make me respect y'all as men. So I can't fuck with niggas, bro. And I'm going to keep talking about talk because y'all can't fuck with me. And, it's, and that's it. That's it. So y'all going to act like y'all bigger than me? Let me start acting like I, who I am. I'm y'all fucking big homie, nigga. That's it. That's Go facts. Go <laughs> Go to. <laughs> Go to. <laughs> Somebody asked, what about the under, underachievers? What, what, did you have a relationship with them? Um, No. No. Mm. No. Okay. Let's answer a few questions from the from, from everybody that's watching. All right. So the floor is open to y'all. Nigga said dimes three sixteen. Shit, I want to be on the floor. I know some of y'all had some questions. I know a lot of y'all. Actually, a lot of y'all had some questions. I didn't want to interrupt what Dom was saying. Yeah, what up, y'all? Well, Media said, I want to know about Fab. What do you want to know about Fab? Like his relation. What is your relationship with Fab? Oh, what's my relationship with Fab? Oh, well. Uh, Fabulous reached out after um, I, I, I made this campaign called the Tag Fab campaign uh, to get him on the, the That Chicken remix because when I put it out, a lot of people was telling me uh, that Fab would sound fire on it. So I was like, shit, if y'all want him to be on it, like, let's get that nigga to pay attention to my shit. So my fans, probably some of y'all in here, tag Fab, tag Fab, tag Fab. Um, yeah, that was the hashtag. And then eventually he heard the song and he hit me up to do the remix. So that was our... Um, uh, yeah, that was, you know... That was that was how it started. Our relationship started there. He he's been a mentor to me. He's been a person like giving, giving me advice, a big cosign, you know, putting people on my albums, people on my songs and shit. So yeah, man, that's my that's OG for sure. Dope, dope. Uh oh, so I did pin the the verse. I think Axel was talking about. It says, "Grab your AKs. We're looking for some weight slaves. When mm -hmm. we dropping, when we drop." We bring the dynamite, JJ, Capital Steeds, the last straw. Mm. What do you think he was? What do you think he was saying? Mm. 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 Some, some way mm. When we drop, we bring the dynamite, JJ. Mm. I mean, it sounds like a metaphor to me. Yeah, it does sound like a metaphor. JJ's. Grab your AKs. We're looking for some weight slaves. Who's he referring to as? He said, "That's a joy this right there." He said, "Hmm." Explain that, Axel. <clears throat> Help me out with that one. Grab your AKs. We're looking for some weight slaves. When we drop, bring the dynamite, JJ. That's a joy this right there. He means he wants to smoke. Uh, yeah, that's what he's saying. Okay, next question. Let me go back up. I don't want to skip nobody. Mm -hmm. Somebody said, what happened to King Capital? I mean, we just got... We, I mean, I... I, 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 I he's talking about the King Capital album. Um, 
because uh, they were supposed to release a uh, an album. Okay. That uh, was like Steve's last album. Oh, okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. Yeah. So, um, I don't know for sure. I know that uh, his uh his 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 family ain't trying to release it to uh them niggas though. That's yeah. the whole thing. Um, I. I'm 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 gonna speak I'm I'm gonna speak more on that. I'm gonna try to uh bring that shit to life if it could be, you know, but I don't got enough information on the records myself. But I know that the family and really trying to get that shit up to the, the era though. Okay. Next question. What do you think about the Troy I have this? This is from Slow Swing. Okay, next question. <laughs> do you have any more songs with Steve's? Maybe. <laughs> I'm champagne. Oh. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Why don't you just jab at Joey for the culture? <laughs> uh. Uh. I did. I have. If you listen to B forty seven, I I I brought that out. Facts. Uh, always Danny eighty nine says, "How do you deal with people hating on you and being jealous, even though they may portray themselves as friends or supporters sometimes?" Oh, that's a good question. That's a really good question. Uh, it's whatever. You just gotta take it day by day, man. Facts. Um, you gotta take it day by day, man. It's day by day. I don't really pay what's attention the, to niggas. What's the best advice do you give to people, you know, that are in that situation? Just keep, you know, doing, this is, just keep doing you, man. Just 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 be yourself, man. Be yourself. Self love is is a is an underrated thing. It's, it's it's very important, especially if you're gonna carry yourself in this business where it's just ego driven. You gotta if you don't love yourself, their energy is gonna consume yours, and you're gonna be in a corner somewhere, somewhere balled up crying. So love yourself first. That's the most ultimate. That's the ultimate thing that you gotta you gotta do. Love yourself first, because self love is gonna carry you through all of this. <clears throat> Mm. No, the kid. When are we doing this diss record? <laughs> I don't gotta diss the nigga. Yo, I address everything on B forty seven as far as him, and I always forget that because like that really just came from a true place, and it wasn't really a fucking diss. What I said on the record was I was never cool with Joey. Didn't really know the nigga. We, he was always choking in the cyphers, and we all would kill him. <laughs> 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 the gloves is coming off, boys. Listen, wait, 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 wait. B forty seven, niggas be like, yo, listen to B forty seven, bro. Like, cause B forty seven, I, I address it all, and it's just like, I'm just running it back, like, you know, like I wrote this reminiscing on it. B forty seven, me and Steve's in a hall together way before the ever. I was never cool with Joey. Didn't really know it. <laughs> know the nigga. He was always choking the disciples and be called uh, overkill him. Wrote this, then it clicked like, oh shit, he uh. He's shaking because he's scared of his position getting stolen. He shook a, uh He see how we taking over Brooklyn at the moment. DM me how you fucking with that chicken never posted. Joe Bogus, I wrote this. Reminiscing. Back then, when the reverend laid hands, said the kid was destined. Uh, said the kid was blessing that this kid was destined. Amen. Uh, yeah, yeah, go, go listen to that record. Woo! A verse from Fabulous on my birthday. Baddest out of my birthplace. I guess we all need a challenge. Half of New York isn't rapping, bombing at radio stations and leaving all us embarrassed. Some badass representation. These tumble boys aren't valid. Too concerned with the fashion. These rap styles need a stylist. I'm back now with a balance. Every ball the ball spitting is valid. Turn around and still bag a bad bitch with a ballot. <laughs> Don't look at this shit as listen. I'm just sick of the silence. My niggas are dying. I'm just sick of the silence. He chose Molly and Zenix. No knowledge or understanding. And this hobby's got him sent to the island. This instrumental with classic, it got me feeling nostalgic, like I'm back in the band, chilling with just one rob, rob it. Listen to that shit, bro. Uh, 
come on, man. Um, what you call it? Uh, B forty seven, man. I had to redo that because I did it over a uh, uh, case for not a beat, and they took it down. So that was like me addressing the whole Joey situation. But I don't be on Dude. tracks. Like, just dissing him. Like, See, this is why they, you know, this is why they can't keep it on wax because the level they can't of lyrics with me. Yeah, oh, they can't fuck with me ever in that life. I want to hear a good record. I want to hear a good verse from Joey Badass. Yeah. I've been meaning to hear a good verse for the past two years. I don't hate Damn. niggas. I want to hear niggas do well. I want to see niggas do their thing. I don't hate niggas. I want niggas to strive. That's why I tried to give niggas records. That's why I tried to give niggas hooks. That's why I tried to, like... Niggas just try, wow. bro. Are you get killed by Shoot. Tyler? Are you get killed by Tyler to create a spit in a a, 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 a gay verse? <laughs> I mean, well, you know, Tyler is nice, but he was playing. He, he was wasn't even serious. Like, he didn't take it to where he could have. How you get killed by West Side Gun and Tyler the Creator? <laughs> Give me on a track with fucking Tyler. It may have Kendrick. I'm murking these niggas. I don't care. I'm not scared of you, Kendrick. I'm not scared of you, Tyler. That's no, but that, you know what, though? That's, 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 like that's how you're supposed to feel. That's how you're supposed to feel. And, and, and people mistake it as arrogance, but it's just like, yo, you believe in your ability. Hip hop. Hip hop is built off pride. Hip hop is built off arrogance, nigga. I fuck your bitch. I'm fly. Nigga. Take that energy and put it into something real. Nigga, I'm talented. I'm saying something. I'm fucking speaking up for my people. I'm speaking up for myself. I'm making a statement. Y'all can sit there and put all this arrogance and fucking, I fucking with your bitch. I'm fucking with your bitch. No, no, nigga, I'm an MC. I control the fucking room. I can, I, I'm saying some shit that's going to help my people. I'm saying some shit that's going to set some niggas that need to be set straight. You feel me? That's the confidence that I've got. You can be mad at my confidence, but fuck, I can back my shit up straight up. Let's get mm. it. Next, okay. B Trick says, "Are you coming to Cali?" Um, when you break up with your boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Ocean. That, that, was that was me. That was me. That was me. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I, um, when, when all this shit is over, I'm definitely trying to get uh the Cali for sure. Mm. Okay. I'm I what you think about Dead Prez? Because I remember on an interview he was saying that his favorite track was American Corruption. Dead Prez? Dead Prez, the group? I, is that what you meant? I'm Ocean? Because. Yeah, I'm going to go to the next one. Cause I'm thinking. I'm thinking. They're talking about the group because I don't know. I don't know the Dead Press song. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Uh, Cruel X N D R says, "What does this X mean?" Oh, equal X. Yeah, equal X. Equal X is a um a logo. That I came up with back in the day. Well, I didn't come up with it. It was more like when we used to do aim statuses and aim like little names and shit. Um, the equal sign was like the eyes, and the X is like the uh, you know X over the mouth. So I used that to um, represent this idea I had called "Shut Up and Listen." "Shut Up and Listen" was like my brand, still a brand of mine that um, I'll revamp and start doing comedy skits on in the future um on, on like 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 a comedy level you know like that'd just be fun shit like movies yeah. and shit um but equal x that just came from you know just us being on aim and using uh many faces so that was the eyes and then the x was the um the equals the eyes and the x was the you know somebody shutting up and my whole shit was shut up and listen that was my album that was the uh what equal x represented so yeah equal x means shut up and listen yeah Thank you. Oh, dope, dope. Uh, Into the Wu says, hold on. He had, a, he had an interesting question, too. Uh, 
I'm here. I'm here. I just got a call. 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 It's all good. I just, I'm still, I'm looking for the question that Into the Wool asked. He said something. Wool thing. Wool thing. Wool thing. And you know, it's crazy. Somebody answered that, uh, the equal X. It says X means shut up and listen if you're new uh, here. <laughs> <laughs> Love, who said that? Who said that? Uh, Third Eye Media. Yo, Third Eye Media, shout out to you, my nigga. Yeah, you show love all the time. It's a true. That's a real one. Oh, you know, you're familiar with Third Eye Media. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay, man. Somebody. Man. Damn, this shit just turned into a whole fucking interview, huh? <laughs> yeah, bro. Because this is a man. There's a lot of people that, you know, have questions, you know, and there's a lot of, you have a lot of fans, man. You have a lot of fans and, and, and the energy that you and, and Beast Coast was bringing. That was a synergy that everybody wanted to see continue. Oh, I found it. Into the Woo says, I just want to know, do you regard yourself as first internet rapper from Brooklyn? Because you're the first underground rapper our age that had the vision. You and Soldier, Soldier Boy, basically. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um... That's ill. Um, I mean, back then it was just, it's still about just by any means getting your vision out. And um, that's all I was trying to do back then. It was just like, hey, um, I don't got no big production team or nothing to help film my videos or like get my ideas out. So let me just take my, pick my camera up and upload these shits to YouTube. And I've been doing that shit since 2006. And even before that, MySpace. So niggas know me from MySpace fucking finessing my fucking bulletins and putting my whole music player in that bitch. So it's like, uh, yeah, I could, I would consider myself a, um, one of the early, uh, the early birds when it came to this internet thing, just, just strictly because it was the only way I can get my creativity out, you know? And you got your deal doing that. Yeah. First deal doing that. Yep. Wow. Very innovative. Uh... Ooh. M Rebellion 17 says, where the 47 goons at? I don't know, bro. I ain't got nothing to do with that. I'm not no pro era nigga. Everybody, let's get that straight, too. I'm not pro era. Please stop asking me, like, pro era questions and shit. If, if it's something that, to do with, like, how I feel about them, that's a, a, another thing. But, um, don't, like, I don't listen to them. I don't, you know rock with them like we not in the same crew and it's not that i don't like them it's just that we just not you know it's just like <laughs> i don't be with them like that so for people who me, we, said, after signing to warner have you heard or had any run-ins with the old youtube guys like deep ride and traffic, traffic. To be the traffic. <laughs> Yeah, Traffic is a really good friend of mine, man. I fuck with Traffic forever because he is a down-to-earth motherfucker. And the fact that he could be so big on Wild and Out and all this shit and still pick up his phone for me quick, still answer his fucking text like nothing. He remind me of, like, how Fab is with me. You know, Fab is a legend, but he'll pick up his phone. Fab is a legend, but he'll text me back, you know. But Timothy, that, like, ghetto even... You know, even uh, more so, he's a cool nigga. He will, he really embraces me, and uh, you know, he invites me out to the wild and out shit that he does. I don't know if he does it anymore, but I've met Nick Cannon based off of his affiliations and shit. You know, yeah. in, in LA and uh, in New York. So shout out to Timothy De La Ghetto. Uh, me and D Proud talked the other day. We talked about getting on live and doing like a uh, a back and forth because. A lot of people considered me and him like as like the top YouTube rappers back then. So oh, we did, wow. Yeah, so he's like an Asian uh Filipino MC that was been killing it. Like he was nice, like he was better than a lot of niggas from back in the day. So um yeah, I still keep in touch with a few guys. Prince EA. Are you going to do it though? Huh? Are you gonna do the back and forth with him? Yeah, I could. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think it's gonna be like no battle shit. I feel like we just gonna sit there. I, mean, I know you up. could. I know you could, Dimes. Question yeah, is, are you, are you? Yeah, are you, yeah. No, I mean, is it a battle? Was he saying? Is it like? 
Was he asking? Like, I don't you feel know, the battle. I feel like it's just for the people. All right. Oh, wow. So you're going to do one end of his career. Damn. Cause I'm so you going to do it? Yeah, you say that again? Okay, cool, cool, cool. Oh, hold on. Let me plug this charger up. Cause my shit's going to die soon. All right. The JJ line. Um... Oh, Third Eye Media says it'd be dope to see you and Young and May on the on the record. Um, I think that'd be dope too. Um, yeah, Young and May's good. I like that. What happened to you and Rocket? Y'all don't even follow each other. Y'all used to be in videos together and stuff. Um, I don't know. It's be acting funny. It's be acting funny. I don't know. D probably was. Uh, was smacking back then, yo. Deep Pride, she was rapping like M, nigga. That Asian motherfucker was rapping like M and M. Woman, he was spit. <laughs> oh, I, I don't know why. How I missed that? No, he was good because it, it wasn't for us, you know. Like, but yeah. it was beneficial to me because you know that whole world, you know that Asian world was, you know, introducing Dama Dozen. Oh. You the cat wilding again? Huh? The cat wild the cat wilding again? Nah, my shit was just on the charge in the film. Slow Swank said, What happened to you and Puma? Oh, um, I was the brand ambassador for Puma for about uh four years. It's yeah, brand ambassador. Yeah, I was the brand ambassador for Puma for about four years, so um my contract was up with them. That's it. <laughs> Dank Boy 420 says, would you work with any pro era members other than Joey? Um uh, maybe. I don't know. Who's in there? Who's in pro era? Who's even in pro era right now? Is that DJ Flash still? No, hell no. I <laughs> was quick. Damn, you ain't think about it twice. <laughs> fly, it's not fly. There's nothing fly about CJ. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, son. Stop saying it acting like that nigga fly. I've never seen a friend. I'm tired of niggas acting like shit is, is what it's not, bro. Like, come on, let's stop pretending. Yeah, he doesn't have a bit of a homeless swag, but maybe... <laughs> I thought it was like let me fly homeless. I thought you know he was. I thought that was kind of like deliberate to kind of look homeless and call yourself fly to to kind of like. Uh, I think he think he fly. You really think he's fly? That's that's wow. Okay. Let me tell you. Let me tell you a story about uh, CJ Fly, right? And I'm oh, only God. getting on him. He could have been safe. He could have been safe. But I'm only getting on him because he did some whole shit the other day. So you know oh, how wait, I got wait, the um, the other day. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. When you say the other day, this, this is so A few days ago? Uh, maybe a few weeks ago, like when Black Man dropped. Around, oh, okay. Okay, let's go. Yeah, so when Black Man dropped, um, <laughs> this nigga, <laughs> this nigga, you know, you know how I got, I put out my number and I was telling everybody to text me and shit, you know, yeah. hit me up, text me and I put out my number. So when I got that new number, I, it automatically hit up the contacts that's in my phone, right? So his girl's number is in my phone. So his girl's number is in my phone. So, um, you know, I send out the track, Black Man. Hey, everybody, Black Man just dropped today. Check it out when you get the chance. And I get a text back from his girl's number. So me and his girl, like, we, we were friends since before, like, they started dating. So I get a text from him. I mean, I get a text from her, but it's him from the number he's like oh lose this number loser something something uh stop being a weirdo or some shit like that i'm like what nigga first of all this is a mass message from uh and it's sending this to my old numbers like nobody's hitting up your girl directly like and why the fuck you, you talking to me like this nigga's oh Oh, my bad. I was very confused just now. My bad for calling you out your name so early. Uh, 
Like, nobody think about your dumb ass, nigga. Sit down. That's why Uzi dropped the weekend you dropped, nigga, and blew your shit out the water, nigga. Fuck that in. But you get you texting me from your girl phone. What kind of fucking whole shit is that? Wait, wait, wait. <clears throat> so he's texted you from her, her phone before? No. <laughs> so so you don't, that, you don't think that he was legit confused because it's, it's a different number? But whatever. Be confused. Hit me up from your shit. And be like, yo, yeah. Tom, like, you hitting up Shorty? Like, what you doing? Don't hit call. Don't text me from her number. Like, get the shit out of here, nigga. I'm not even texting your girl directly, nigga. So he, so he definitely knew it was you. Huh? So then he definitely knew it was you. Yeah, it was definitely me. And he knew it was me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he, it was me, bro. He knew it was me. And he was quick to sit there and try to fucking defend his girl or yeah. be on some shit like, oh, nigga, don't be texting my bitch. Like, nigga, nobody wants your bitch. You know what I mean? And, 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 and I feel like he wanted to be problems and acting like I want to be on some shit. Like, I want to be for him. Nigga, you trash, bro. Honestly. And like, wow. I got to give it up like that to niggas. Because niggas think, like, I don't know what y'all niggas think. Now, niggas work with me, so y'all know I'm not whack. So what y'all think, I'm pussy? Like, what the fuck y'all want? Like, y'all, y'all, y'all want me to disrespect y'all for real? Like, what the fuck y'all want? I'm not gonna see and let y'all niggas try to play me, bro. That's it. <laughs> Nigga, hit my phone up talking all this crazy shit, talking about lose this number, loser. Nigga, who the fuck you talking to? Loser, your swag is a loser swag. Nigga, get your shit up. Tell me you fly, but you bummy. Since I knew, I know you, nigga. Fuck out of here. I'm giving it up like this from now on, bro. It gotta be giving up like this, bro. I'm not turning 30 and not being a fucking superstar, bro. Yo, see, this is what it's like. This 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 is how you know that he's from Brooklyn, bro. Because when Brooklyn niggas get mad, everybody's getting it. If you if you in close proximity to the enemy, you getting it too. That's just how Brooklyn is. Uh, Slow Swank says, what happened to you and Roka? Y'all don't even follow each other. Y'all used to be in videos together and stuff. Oh, yeah, Rock and Mouth Sing. Um, I guess he just gets caught up in this whole pro era shit, you know? He, um, you know? I mean, when we see each other, be cool, you know? But, uh, I don't know, you know? Niggas be feeling ways that they feel like I got big problems in pro era, which I really, I really don't. But, but, um... Yeah, I guess niggas just look at it like that and they want to separate themselves and shit. And then niggas don't want to talk. I feel like if niggas talk, niggas get shit off their chest. You feel I me? Mean? But uh, niggas don't want to. They'd rather sit there and try to ignore me or, or discredit me. So um, instead of... Uh, and, and Bro, I don't take anything to heart. I just look yeah. at it like... You know, I just look at it like, oh, word, that's how y'all acting? <laughs> All right, bro, let's get it. You know, I don't sit there and be mad and shit, but it's just like, I got to give it up how I give it up, because if I sit there and let niggas do that shit to me, it's just like... Yeah, and just, just for clarity, like, mm-hmm. you never bring up pro ever. It's everybody else. It's yeah, everyone else. And, and that's the only reason why, you know, he's even speaking about it, is because the same way y'all have questions about pro ever, I've had questions. So yeah. it's not him. He's not... He's not thinking about them he doesn't he doesn't bring them up i'm around dimes a lot and you know i i can tell you all from my experience around him he don't talk about them until somebody asked him ask him a question he's just not gonna be like he's not gonna beat around the bush he's just gonna give it to you straight and then move on so andrew Carr says what advice would you give your 16 year old self um, that's a good question uh, just stick to your young nigga plans. Just don't listen to old white niggas. Expand on that. Um, when you a young artist coming up, you have a lot of motherfuckers in your ear trying to tell you what you should do based off their industry experience. Um, and you looking up to them may take that shit as law. 
because these motherfuckers been here. These niggas been in the industry. They've been successful. But if you weren't an act that they felt like was going to be successful, period, they wouldn't be fucking with you. So don't let them mm-hmm. sit there. Don't let them sit there and tell you anything about what you're doing. Nigga, they're here because you've been doing what you're doing. So if a motherfucker come through and try to say, hey, you should stop doing this and do something else, nigga, don't listen to that shit. Keep doing your thing. Keep, <laughs> Keep doing your thing. thing. Keep building on what you built on because they can never take that away from you. They can fucking sit there and try to get involved, but it's like, you, you, you already you. See, I told you I started my shit, shit in 2006. I was building my YouTube up. Niggas came around on some Warner Brothers shit. Oh, yeah, you're nice, blah, blah, blah. You know, a lot of motherfuckers was in my ear. Yo, this Equal X shit, I don't know. Like, maybe you should just, like, kind of be with phony people and have that be your new thing. Uh, uh. And to this day, niggas in my comments talking about Equal X. Equal X. Nigga, that's 10 years ago. To this day. 10 years ago, bro. But motherfuckers was trying to tell me stop that shit. Some shit that I connected genuinely with my fans off of. But because it don't look like the industry standard and what niggas was doing, nigga, the shit changed all the fucking time. But motherfuckers told me that this wasn't that wasn't even a streaming ever when they told me that. You know, so niggas they had no streaming was gonna take over. So for a motherfucker to act like they know what's coming next and tell my hey, this is what you should do because they're in the industry. Nigga, the industry don't know what the fuck they doing. Labels ain't smart like that. I heard that Wiz Khalifa say the other day, like, yo, they're great at taking something that's something already and making it big, but they suck at cultivating something and making it something that's going to go out there. They need the help. 